Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu on a USB drive. This is different than creating a live USB with an environment meant primarily for testing. This will be a full Linux installation on a USB drive. Why would you want to do that? For instance, if you don't have enough space on your hard drive or you just want a plug and play operating system. So let's start. If you want to skip any part of the video, the timestamps are in the description, just move to the next timestamp. What do you need? Obviously a USB drive that you will install Ubuntu on, and it should be a faster one. An off-the-shelf 10 bucks USB drive is not recommended here, since the read-write speed will probably be too slow for an operating system to run on it. If the USB drive is the bottleneck, a faster PC will not help you much either. So if you want decent performance, get a decent USB drive. Another thing you will need is a second USB drive with the mentioned live Ubuntu environment. It can be also a live CD or DVD if you are really old school, whatever you prefer. Creating a live USB drive is straightforward, you will need to download the latest Ubuntu ISO, flash it onto the drive using Rufus or some other tool and once the drive is ready you'll need to boot into the environment. I will assume that you already know how this works so I'm not going to cover it in this video. You can find all the necessary links in the description. Once the live environment is up and running, I'll catch up with you. So here we are in the Ubuntu live environment and first we want to do is select try Ubuntu. At this point plug in the USB drive where you want to install Ubuntu on and go to install Ubuntu. Now this is the standard Ubuntu installer, I will just continue with the defaults until I get to the important step, that's ok. Here you can go with normal installation but I will choose minimal installation here and continue. Now this is the important step here, here you need to select something else and continue. And now here you will see a list of different partitions, these are all Windows partitions, you need to scroll down and find the USB drive that is plugged in. So this is my USB drive and if you have any partitions on the USB drive just right click and delete them. You should see only free space under the device, now click on free space and click the plus button. And here we will create the first partition, the size should be 100 megabytes, it should be a primary partition and use as should be EFI system partition. That's ok. Here is the EFI partition, now select what's left of the free space and click again the plus button. Now the second partition will occupy all the free space that was left and it should be a primary partition and x4 journaling file system and the mount point should be root. That's ok. Here is the second partition and you can also create an additional swap partition if you want but in my case I don't need a swap partition so I will leave this one as it is and under device for bootloader installation choose the USB drive. That's it, install now, continue. For simplicity I will just choose all the defaults here, fill out your username, my will be minor so you can guess where this video is going and in the next video I will show you how you can mine coins with this Ubuntu installation. Continue and just let it install. Installation has finished but don't choose restart, choose continue testing here. Now we need to check some things. Go under activities and search for the disks utility. Now select the USB drive where we installed Ubuntu and mount the first EFI partition. That's it, now double click on the link. And we can see it's empty, there are no EFI entries in there and that's not what we want. Select the main drive with the Windows installation and here mount the first EFI partition. Double click on the link, let's check this one, EFI. And here we can see the EFI Ubuntu entry was installed on this partition instead of this one. And that's what we need to fix here. Select the live drive and go to the link. And from the Ubuntu live drive, copy the EFI folder into our USB partition, go inside and again into boot and then go to the other Windows CFI partition and here in the Ubuntu entry copy the grub CFG and the shimx64.efi, now copy those over to the USB drive and now we can remove the EFI entry from the Windows partition, delete, that's it, close everything. We have all the EFI entries on our boot partition so we can also close that one and then just restart and boot into the USB drive where we installed Ubuntu and that's where I will catch up with you. And here we are, this is full Ubuntu on a USB drive. So let's click next here and done. There is one additional thing we need to fix here. Go into the disks utility again, select the Windows drive and unmount the EFI partition. 
now let's edit the mounting options here. Uncheck mount at system startup. And let's also change the mount point to MNT slash EFI. Okay. Now go to the USB drive and let's edit the mount option of this EFI partition. We don't want session defaults. We want mount at startup, no user interface. Then here write U mask equals 0077. Then identify as should be UID, auto should be VPAT, and mount point should be slash boot slash EFI and OK. That's it. Now mount it. All right. Let's see if it worked. Go to files, other locations, computer, boot, EFI, password, and there it is. It mounted successfully and that's what we want. Now everything is fixed. We can close that. And that's it, a bunt on a USB drive. You can take it anywhere you want, boot into it and it should work. You're good to go. In the next video, I will show you how you can mine some cryptos with this bad boy here. So stay tuned and till the next time, thank you very much for watching. Give a like and subscribe if you liked the video and also smash the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. I really appreciate it and see you in the next one.